What you got? Well, you look at Virginia. Size matter. The offensive line and defensive line, definitely bigger than Abilene Christian, so they should dominate. And if you look at Abilene Christian, hey, the weakness in that secondary, hey, giving up big plays, you got to throw the ball. It's a very short kick. You look at this uh, defense for Virginia. You got Charles Snowden who is a dominant player from the outside, leading the ACC with six sacks. For the first time this year, Virginia takes the field with a different starting offensive line, a product of Dylan Rinkensmeyer getting hurt. Keaton Thompson came into the game at quarterback, and he got stacked up. He did not get anywhere close to the first down yardage. Brennan Armstrong back in the game. He's looking to throw. And that is incomplete. There was some contact just before the ball got there, but no flag looking for Lavelle Davis. Wildcats 1-4 on the season. Their game last week against Arizona Christian was canceled. But that pass is complete to Kobe Clark. Well, here it is. I mean, I talk about strategy. Coming out, throwing the ball. Kobe Clark. You get the first down, 10-yard completion to McConnell. This is Darius Lewis on the bubble screen. Zane Zandier diving to bring him down, but after another 10-yard pickup. Stone Earl, freshman from Keller, Texas. His dad played in the NFL on the offensive line for a number of years. And on third and short, Earl picks up about five to move the chains. Since 2018, been the backup kicker to Blake Zepeda, who did not make the trip from Texas. Quick throw on third down. And it's going to be shy of the first. They're going to pick up five. Jeremiah Dobbins in the backfield. Earl throws it. It's tipped and incomplete. Defensive tackle from Missouri City, Texas. And now on third and short, Armstrong floats it downfield. And Tony Poljan stumbled as he laid out to make the catch. And it's incomplete. That ball complete. Tight end, picks up about 10 yards, Remington Lutz. Nick Jackson makes the stop. A bunch of different opponents from a bunch of different levels. Trying to set up the screen, they complete it to Clark. And uh, Virginia defense sniffed that one out. Devontae Cross brings him down. I'm reading this play. I mean, I really like Abilene. They're mixing it up really well, but they did not fool Matt Gam there. Abilene Christian did successfully convert a couple of third downs in their first drive, but Earl hit by Noah Taylor as he released it, and that one's incomplete. Kemp standing around is 20, and he has to backpedal. That's a really nice kick all the way to the seven. And Billy Kemp, the fourth, returns it 13 yards out to the 20. Third possession for Virginia. Still a scoreless game, seven minutes left in the first. Armstrong takes off up the middle, and he is shown to be very dangerous with his legs in these situations. It was funny talking with Bronco Mendenhall yesterday. Broken plays when Bryce Perkins could just improvise, and Brennan Armstrong has taken a page out of that book. Yeah, I don't even think the coverage was that great here, but you know, he's such an athlete, and he understands. It took his legs to win games, so I wouldn't be surprised if he does a lot more of that today. Armstrong picked up 33, but he could not escape Jack Gibbons, the Campbell Trophy nominee who gets in the backfield for his second sack of the season. Abilene Christian, the leader of this defense, and you know, coming in this game, the coach says it might be our last game. Nominee for the Campbell, the academic Heisman, as it's often referred. That ball complete to Kemp, and he will motor down inside the 30-yard line. Great blocking up front, man. Those big guys just gave Brennan Armstrong all the time in the world, and Billy Kemp just finding that hole. He has one of those infectious personalities, and Coach added that Jack is everything you want your football program to stand for. Back to you. That ball's complete to Tony Poljan, and he'll take it in the end zone. Touchdown. 28-yard throw and catch and run. Armstrong to pull Jan, and we've got points for the first time. And wait for his receivers to come out of their cut and a mismatch. Pole Jam. Just making it look easy. And that's his, what, fifth touchdown of the season. Third and about six. 
That ball's complete, and Abilene Christian will move the sticks. Amos rips down L.J. McConnell. Exactly. Thrown two passes in his college career at Birdville High School. This time, Abilene Christian plays it on the ground with Robert McNutt. Oiling the Wildcats homecoming. Give to Darius Lewis, and he's in trouble. And he's going nowhere. As they saw the motion here, you can see all the Virginia players running that way and extending the play out. Uh, excellent play. Logan Burke. High spiraling kick and a fair catch called for right at the 10. You got to be a Virginia team to be playing in the ACC today. Floating it deep downfield. Armstrong connects with Lavelle Davis Jr. This guy's got speed. And the freshman takes it 90 yards for the touchdown. Oh, and look at the Bell Davis Jr. One on one. And he's just going to take off and use his speed. Good, use his hands right off the line. And here, it's just a sprint to the end zone. And I got my money on that guy right there, Lavelle Davis Jr., my impact player coming into this ball game. You're not going to catch him with those long strides. Right before the play clock expires and the time of the backfield goes quick for Stone Earl, Matt Gam, with his third sack of the season. Bringing everybody after Stone. And there it is, Matt Gam. Well, your best thing is to pass the ball. Earl fakes it. Completes it short. There is a flag on the field. Two flags now. <laughs> Surprised they didn't go for it on fourth and ten from their Virginia 40. Kemp back at his own 40. Back pedals to the 38. Makes a move. And gets back to the 40 just about before he's brought down. 30, a 43 yard punt for Logan Burke. They've made great strides in that department. Pressure coming. Armstrong escapes. And he's got good speed and an opportunity to gallop for the first down. And here you thought he was going to be sacked. Kent Tit had him. And he just spun out. We talk about his athleticism, his speed. Tom Thompson can't throw the ball, too. How does that change your mindset as a safety? Well, you got to handle your business. I mean, you got to read your keys and stay with it, regardless of whether you got two quarterbacks in the game. It's third and five for Virginia. Brandon Armstrong running for the sideline, and he's going to be a yard shy of the first. Armstrong gives it to Talapapa. And it's going to be close. I think he got it. And the officials signal for the first down. Simpson in motion, circles the wagons in the backfield. And they complete it to Poljan, and he'll rumble down to the 10-yard line. Reaches the point of third and goal. And up the middle, Shane Simpson bursts into the end zone for Virginia. As a Cavalier. He's been a good receiver out of the backfield all season. They're going to end up playing a six-game schedule. We asked if they might try to schedule somebody for the next couple of weeks, and basically said, no, we, our kids are going home Thanksgiving. That ball's intercepted. Virginia is going to add some defensive points. It's D'Angelo Amos taking it to the house. The pick six, but there is a flag, and we'll check the marker. It's a Virginia defense that has plenty of pop to it. You'll uh, never forget it. Third and short, Earl keeps it himself and will pick up the first down. He picked up two. He needed one. Again, the freshman making his first start. A time, but creates more time and picks up another first down with his legs. Second down and four, under three minutes to go in the half. Complete that one to the perimeter for L.J. McConnell. Said that on appearance with Packer and Durham the other day. That ball is caught down inside the five-yard line. 
And first and goal coming up. Darius Lewis makes the grab. Good rollout play here. Reverse rollout. Stone looking for Darius Lewis. It's a good grab by Darius Lewis going up and getting that ball. Good concentration. If you didn't make that mistake in the dugout, you know, <laughs> first down as we hit a home run. Earl completes it, and Kobe Clark breaks the plane for the Abilene Christian touchdown. 30 seconds left in the half, and the Wildcats get on the board. This receiver's on this Wildcat team, Kobe Clark. Second down and one after the Virginia timeout. 16 seconds on the clock. Nice throw to the outside. Kemp tried to make a move. Gains a five extra yards. Takes a couple seconds off the clock. Yards and Virginia basically in field goal range for Delaney. Abilene playing off the receivers, respecting that speed, but also looking. Virginia can throw it anywhere on the field, of course. They've got the two timeouts. Armstrong zings it to the other side and hits Kemp again. Great catch here by Billy Kemp. Look at his concentration, using his hands. That was a good day for the Cavaliers. Floating it to the perimeter. This is Simpson, and near the end zone, he'll go out of bounds at the two with two seconds to go. Holjan and Mish. Both move to the right side of the line. Armstrong flips it to the end zone, and there should be a flag, and there are three of them that fly in as Paul Jan got tackled when the ball was still in the air by Brian Bullock. Final play of the first half, barring a penalty, is a Shane Simpson touchdown. So Virginia scores a 90-yard pass on the final play of the first to close the half here in the second. Well, that's how you regain momentum after giving up the score to Abilene Christian. It's that kind of season, Brian. Guys <laughs> playing different positions on the fly. Which has to be kind of fun, you think. And the offensive line giving them time to throw the ball down the field. Spinning to his right, pressure coming. And that's going to be grounding, I think. I think he got out of the pocket just enough. And then maybe not. There's the play. Yeah, I thought he might have got outside the box here. If you're out of the box, though, the pass has to be back to the line of scrimmage. Said he's always tried to model his game after Joey Porter. That was his favorite backer wow. growing up in the Steel City. All-American freshman. Deciding to opt out of the rest of this season, which has the potential to be pretty special for Virginia. Kemp tried to spin away from the tackle, and he somehow managed to do it before stumbling backward and losing a couple of yards after a 46-yard punt. Keaton Thompson's in the backfield alongside Brennan Armstrong, and he'll flip it to Thompson, get the ball in the hands of the Mississippi State transfer. He's got some explosiveness to his game. He's playing a good game. Clint Brown raved about this kid speaking of him coming up there getting in on that tackle well, his dad ken was his high school coach and defensive coordinator working his way up the depth chart out in logan utah armstrong on third down hits the big tight end and pole jan hangs on he had it almost lost it field wide open and you're right Corey richardson came over and made a big hit but he was able to hold on to that ball I spent enough time chatting with Bronco Mendenhall to know that in his house on the ranch, they don't spend a whole lot of time talking football. They get away from football when he goes. And here's Keaton Thompson breaking tackles. Good night. Number 99 to the end zone. 56 yards for Thompson. Using his speed to get away here. Just a good vision up the middle. He gets hit. He breaks it. And nobody's going to catch him. Byron Robinson had him wrapped up, but he couldn't bring him down. Second down and 10. It's still Earl, the freshman, making his first career start. That's a good ball to L.J. McConnell down the middle. I mean, they don't have a lot of depth behind those guys. Earl's pass incomplete. And Abilene Christian originally was scheduled to open their season at Texas A&M back in September. Schedule has seen a lot of iterations. And against Virginia here in Charlottesville in November, it's an uphill battle for on downs. Yeah, the defense, they sniffed this out. Great play by Elliott. Good reaction. 
Nice play, Virginia. Basically doing zooms at home in the afternoon. Every morning they would go outside and have football school, working on technique. Thompson to Armstrong, deep to Henry. A little trickeration from the Wahoos and a touchdown for Virginia. Touchdown! Wow, what a play, man. Two yards. Sean Henry coming up with the play here. So now we're Sean Henry as a Cavalier, three catches. Played five games as a redshirt freshman at Iowa, where he was backing up Nate Stanley for a Hawkeyes team that went 9-4 a couple years ago. Sometimes he has to dial it back a little bit during the games and tries to do too much. Trying to scramble out of trouble. He certainly has that ability. Peyton Mansell looks healthy there. He took a lick at the end of the play, and the flags fly. That just second play in there playing defense, and you get a targeting call. Wow. So that's that's a situation where it looks like Mansell delivers more of a launch with the helmet than no, would, Johnson did. I wouldn't say that because Mansell, both of those guys had his legs and he was just falling down. He had no control of that. Tough to do to be an aggressive defensive back or any position, but you got to learn how to do it. And Sell completes it to the perimeter. Moves the chains again. That one to Jordan Brooks. 65 minutes away from kickoff in Raleigh. Liberty and NC State. That's a nice throw. And the guy goes down a yard shy of the first down. Darius Lewis holding his left knee. Brian, it appears the day is done for Brennan Armstrong. Lyndall Stone into the game. Flips it to Ronnie Walker Jr. And he'll lose a handful of yards. Sounds like you may not remember it so well. Yeah, I, mean, <laughs> I took a lot of hits, Evan, <laughs> playing in football. <laughs> Short screen pass there to Paris Jones. Yeah, I think it's a smart thing to do, especially with Bronco seeing a couple of key guys go down. Uh, you got a comfortable lead. Why well, take the chances? Fair catch made by Harmon at the 27-yard line. Late in the third quarter in Charlottesville on a pleasant Saturday night. Mansell scrambling, and like Johnny, uses his legs, gets the first down, and he keeps rolling, throws a stiff arm downfield <laughs> on the DB. Instead of a 39-yard gain, it becomes third and 24. Mansell throws a short screen, and they'd be better off dropping that. Tyrese Weiss did. You know, he is in touch with Virginia. He gave me a serious scouting report. Talked about how great these linebackers are, which he was exactly right. Kemp keeps it in bounds, and a flag flies, and he goes down. Tom Thompson takes the snap for Virginia on third and short, and that will move the chains. The 18th first down of the day for the Cavaliers, and likely the final play of the third quarter. Letting the play clock wind all the way down, and Lindell Stone scurries across the 45 and picks up the first down. Stone, as you say that, completes the pass. <laughs> exactly. It's to Meek Starling, who made his first career catch last week against Louisville. Because he's running for 60, 70 yards a game. He's the leading rusher today, right. six for 52. Stone completes it. But after those 52 yards, Ronnie Walker is the second leading rusher, 8 for 18. They gave me whatever I needed, so hey, it turned out great for me. It worked out well, certainly. And you got that spider's pride. And I got my college degree, the most important thing. Stone gives it to Walker, and great pursuit there by the Abilene Christian front. And Stone fires downfield. That ball's incomplete, but the flag. Great facilities. Third and goal for Lindell Stone. Back pedals out to the 18. Flips into the end zone, and that's caught. Dameek Starling has his first touchdown as a Cavalier. Yeah. Yard touchdown pass from Stone to Starling to culminate. A 69-yard, 17-play drive. 
tenets of their program exemplified by oh that's a hit right there i'm gonna say exemplified by perry clark redshirt freshman d back getting a chance to McKnight gets close to the marker, but he's going to be a yard short. You know, it's just amazing how Virginia's defense, they, they bend a little bit, but they don't break. Lowering the helmet and diving for the first down. You were going to be the lucky charm for then, anyone the rest of the then year. Then I'm going to win the Powerball tonight. <laughs> <laughs> Pressure coming that time, and Mansell gets drilled by Elijah Gaines. Marco's the only one that goes by something different. But, it, man, that name fits him. He said this past week that he knew West Texas real well, coaching in New Mexico, coaching in junior college. Unique challenges that come with having a unique name. He said if he had, had, a, if he had, had a daughter, his, the name might have been Remington Steel. Calling for the flag, and there it comes. Intended for Kobe Clark. Getting his first snaps of the season today. Moved from the scout team to the second team recently. Mansell tried to get to the goal line, and he's got it across for the Wildcat. Touchdown. Touchdown, Emily Christian. Didn't see the signal, but yeah, they're celebrating like it's a score. And they're wow. going bowling. Mansell with a short touchdown. And then, well, bowling alleys are closed, so you got to bowl where you can. And the offensive lineman, it was a strike. They knocked them all down. 15 yards. Who cares? Lose that one in a either-or contest. And then uh, we're in control most of last week against Miami. Throw this back. This is trouble. And, and there is my score up right a safety. 49-15 <laughs> with wow. 34 seconds to go. That play. I don't know how, why you try a play like this when you're winning by so uh, much. Stone to Thompson, and then back to Stone. And again, he's not the, the running quarterback on no, this team. plus it was a forward yeah. pass. Unbelievable so, ending. They're still playing. No knees, final game of the year. And down the middle, Kobe Clark spinning in the secondary inside the 30. Clark stops in the first down. Which doesn't seem all that relevant, a 34-point game, but it feels relevant when you're here at the stadium. And they need the first down to stop the clock. They'll get it. Peyton Mansell, jailbreak blitz. He gets rid of it, and there's the pick. And here comes Virginia down the sideline. Deshaun Perry is going to end this game with a pick six. Unbelievable ending. That's the cover play for Virginia. Are you kidding me? <laughs> Mansell just threw the ball up here. Here's a whistle. The game is over. The trial will not be attempted. The trial will not be attempted. The game is over. The game is over. The line was 39 and a half in our final 55-15.